So the plan is I'm going to drive up to the Peak District and I'm going to try the loop on the ground receive antenna. But this time I've got about half a mile of wire. So I'm going to make the biggest loop on the ground antenna that I can get away with. Just going to run it as far as I can, loop it round, bring it back and see what we can hear. I see what I can hear. Let's see what we can hear. That's diesel sorted. Now, for the rest of the journey, the weather is absolutely awful. Thankfully, visibility will be okay driving through the peaks. We'll see. See you in Visibility is near zero. Right, that's, it's probably about 300 meters of wire. Still loads left on that reel, it's probably a half a mile on that reel, but um, because, of the, because of the livestock around some of these fields, I've had to just do around the perimeter of the farm so that people don't trip over it and it, sheep and horses and whatever else wants to munch around doesn't get caught up in it. So it's gone around not exactly a loop. I'd say it's bumped more of a shape of Mr. Happy. Um but it's it comes back on itself anyway, so it's a sort of Mr. Happy loop of uh, about 300 meters of wire. So I'm going to terminate it here. I'm going to keep that wire on the on the reel because I borrowed this off a friend and um, I'm not allowed to cut it, you know, pretty obvious because it's a bloody good piece of wire and I don't want to start cutting it halfway through so um, I'm going to terminate that as it is. <clears throat> I've got the, um, I've got, uh, this is the transformer that GASAR built for me so I'm going to terminate it either to that side of that outside here run the wire inside and I might just plug that directly I might run I'll see if that can reach inside here anyway so I'm not using um, I've only got a 10 meter piece of the like, coax so I could just terminate it straight from that nice short piece less hopefully less noise it'll pick up from inside the building right okay I'm going to terminate all this up uh, tie it, get over and put away squared away set the radio up while well, the computer and let's see what we can hear. Right. One of the first things I want to do, I want to just check that the wire has continuity. Alright, so it's just pointless 
running the whole thing out and I'm not having a, a, a true connection. Right. I brought the toolbox. I've even brought a soldier knife in case we need to do some messing about. Right. That's good. Yep, lovely jubbly. The wind is whistling around out there. Let's bring you up a bit. The wind is proper whistling out there. Um, I've got a little gap. I've just run the wire through the gap in the door for now, but I'm going to uh, put this onto the transformer thing and then shove it outside. Uh, put that down somewhere. There we go. I'm hoping that this coil on the on this wire on this reel isn't going to um, create an issue. Uh, please put in the comments below if it is going to be an issue. Um, I was chatting to uh, somebody earlier and they said it will act like um, a choke but I thought the choke would only be relevant if it was choking on the choking off the shield of that feed line rather than a single core piece of wire right I'm going to venture outside run this out Right, um, hopefully you can see me, it's a little bit <coughs> darkish. Uh, out of curiosity, I'm going to see if the this huge loop has any resonant points. Right. <clears throat> um, we seem to have it says here that um, three to one sixty kilohertz. Um, what happens here? Okay. To make this work, um, I'm using this uh, Nulek Hammett Up. This is the up converter. So the loop and the Mr. Happy loop goes into the transformer for now. Uh, the transformer will plug into the up converter. This will convert it up to 125 megahertz. So if I wanted to listen to 100 kilohertz, it would be 125.1, okay. Um, then a little patch cable, SMA to SMA, will patch that into my Air Spy and using the VHF um, receiver on this Air Spy, I'll then plug that into SDR console on the computer and we should be able to see it see what we can hear. Cup of tea. Um, I'm picking a few things up, not much at the moment, but it's still daytime. I'm wondering if um, things will change later on when it gets darker, gets lighter. Now, there is an app 
um, on the iPhone is an app for shortwave listening and that gives you a bunch of um, stations, number stations and whatnot where you can find on the frequency you can actually find out what um, what is broadcasted on what frequency it's quite interesting so I'm hoping to try and calculate and work that out in a bit <clears throat> the um, mic loop just would not tune in I mean I'm using all of this unfortunately I'm using all of that cold in here tonight and um, I've got a little uh, fan heater on but um, the winds howling outside it really is uh, really messy if you want to share in the comments some of the things that people can hear on the very low frequencies just pop that in because I think there's going to be quite a number of people who watch this channel that either have a license or not haven't got a license yet but either way I think this is always an interest in putting some wire out, tune that in or put some wire out and just plug that into a receiver and just have a listen around, see what's going on. There's some really interesting stuff on the very low frequencies. It's always worth a go. Okay, this is not a cooking channel, but if it was, what I'll be doing tonight is I've got some chicken pieces, I uh, bought some jerk seasoning, you can get this from supermarket, jerk seasoning, uh, pepper, and one onion, some chilies, I'm going to drop in some sweet potato as well, and drop in some broccoli and a little bit of uh, just a dry thyme so I'm going to put all that in fry that down a little bit to really wake it up this jerk seasoning has been in a jar must be for months so anything that's in a jar or dried spices you really got to wake it up because it's no longer fresh so you really have to hit the bottom of the pan and give it a little bit of a sizzle just to wake it up bring the temperature down everything's sitting in there quite nicely put the lid on and let that cook for maybe about an hour to get the sweet potato cooked through and then into the last minute so we're going to chuck in some coriander I've got some um, some biscuits for later biscuits and I uh, popped out earlier on to the mini bar in the Land Rover I got myself a few little drinks Peppers and fry this on the bottom. Let's get that frying.
good morning what's there that was quite a noisy night actually the wind was really rattling the uh, the barn on the outside I quite enjoyed having an evening of just listening in on the lower frequencies at times I get a bit a bit bored of <clears throat> um, just trying to make contacts especially at the weekends when as you heard last night on 80 meters there was an Italian contest on 80 and pretty much every frequency was used up and this is on a this is on the ground um, loop receiver and it was just flooded with Italians and it was Italians only contest so there was no chance of anybody doing anything on 80 meters last night um, there was a few people on 160 but there were the a lot of the UK based um, ham radio operators no call signs used so I don't know who they were interestingly on the very low frequencies there was lots of data and digital modes being used uh, a few volmets so the plan is now a cup of tea porridge tidy up <coughs> and uh, get everything squared away into the Land Rover and then head home I uh, thank you for watching to the bitter end uh, it's always good there's always a lot lot left at the end it's, everybody else leaves and gets on doing their own thing but there's us secret squirrels we always stay to the end and I want to say thank you to everybody for doing that and I'll see you on the next video bye bye for now